Locally owned and operated. Low price guarantee. We will not be beaten on price. Open seven days a week. 897 Latrobe Street. Power 1031. Ballarat's leaders in local. Listen anywhere you go on the free iHeartRadio app. Your news now. Hi there, I'm Brett Mack with your local news first. Regional Victorian home prices had the greatest fall of all markets in July and Ballarat hasn't remained immune. New data from PropTrack has revealed growth in Ballarat home prices dropped 1.52% for the quarter, sitting at a median of $556,000. Home prices in regional Victoria were down 0.63% in July, sitting 1.54% lower year on year. Ballarat-born Kate Tawney has been appointed to a new senior role, fostering integrity in journalism. She's the new director of the Constructive Institute Asia-Pacific through Monash University. Ms Tawney has previously held roles including ABC News Director and CEO of the State Library of Victoria. Her family has ties to Ballarat law firm Byrne Jones and Tawney. Over 140 people from across the state will be heading to Ballarat this weekend for the annual Spirits Victoria Association Conference. Victorian distillers produced over 2.6 million litres of pure alcohol in 2022, with the industry contributing nearly $3 billion to the state's economy. Part owner of Ballarat's Kildakin Distillery, Chris Pratt, says the impact of the cost of living crisis on the industry will be a main topic. We all, all are aware of it and exploring different ways of raising revenue. We're moving much more into providing experiences, but uh, it has an impact. And we have a panel session specifically on business resilience and getting out the other end and how to communicate effectively to promote your products, to promote what else you're doing. To sport and the AFL and AFLW Premiership Cups are on their way to Ballarat next week. They'll be at Rebel Sport in Grenville Street from 4.30 on Tuesday, accompanied by Brad Sewell. Sewell went to Ballarat High and played for the North Ballarat Rebels before going on to play 200 games for Hawthorne, including two Premiership Cups. That's the latest in your local news. Australia is currently fourth on the medal table in Paris, less than halfway through the Olympic Games, with more Aussies competing in multiple sports tonight. Tracy Holmes has more. In rowing, the men's four is a chance to medal, and in sailing, Olivia Price and Evie Hazeldean are in the skiff final. Gymnast Ruby Pass is in the final of the uneven bars, and later tonight, Paris time, swimmers Elizabeth Deggers and Abby Lee Connor will contest the 200 butterfly final. The United Nations fears an all-out war in the Middle East following the assassinations of Hamas and Hezbollah leaders. Israel has not claimed responsibility but has celebrated the Hamas leader's death. The defamation trial between Brittany Higgins and Senator Linda Reynolds begins in Perth tomorrow with lawyers associated with the case saying it's going to be a disaster with the loser forced to pay out millions in costs. And the high cost of living is seeing more than 60% of women struggle to buy sanitary products. A national survey has found one in five can't afford pads and tampons and they're having to resort to using toilet paper. Win big with the great Aussie giveaway. You could win a share in over 200k of incredible prizes. To enter, get your free property report at aussie.com.au. Discover the potential selling value of your home or any Australian property. It's your chance to drive home the ultimate adventure prize, a Toyota Hilux Rogue and Easy Trail Caravan. Plus, there's over 65k of weekly prizes up for grabs. For your chance to win, get your free property report at aussie.com.au or meet an Aussie broker.
to you by D2E Gym. From Delacombe to Wanderee, you're never too far from a D2E. In sport, Western Bulldogs coach Luke Beveridge knows they're one of the informed teams, but with only four home and away games left, he says anything can happen. With nearly everyone in the competition, including us, you're wary of the pitfalls and you just keep focusing on probably the, the non-negotiables and the fundamental aspects of your game. It's the only way to approach it. And in NRL, the Cowboys take on the Tigers in round 22 of the NRL tonight, but they'll be without enforcers Reuben Cotter and Jason Taumalolo. Five years, Aussies have been powering their passion with Battery World. So if you're hitting the open road, on your next outdoor adventure, or simply taking pride in a job well done, there's only one place to go, and that's Battery World. Power FM weather. Regional retaining walls. Check out their new range of honed Hampton concrete slippers and stepping pavers. For the rest of your Thursday, partly cloudy. Tomorrow on Friday, patchy morning frost and becoming cloudy with a minimum of one degree and a maximum of 12.